Shalom, Shalom, Kohalah, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. That's giving all praise to the Most High. In the name of His only begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. My name is Ibar from the Prophets in Babylon camp down here in Tampa, Florida. And I want to give double honors to the elders and the apostles, the great millstone who taught us his truth and truth of sincerity, peace, and salutations to the whole four elect scattered abroad. And in this video, I want to touch on this story. Okay, it says a man in New York steals another man's hot dog at ninth point. Okay, and it's a lucky, you know, it's, it's off of Instagram. You know, I just figured I'd do, do this raw, you know, but um, I praise Edifying to the whole for elect, man. But here's the video. Can you imagine walking home, eating a hot dog, and a man rob, robs you robs you at knife point for your hot dog, man? You know, and it's already bitten. You know, you have eaten a hot dog. It says that's got to be the notorious uptown glizzy go 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 gobbler bandit, you know. But <laughs> NPD, uh, uh, NYPD. You know they 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 are looking for 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 this guy, and you know you get you see all these videos in New York of, you know these crazy attacks happening. You got these crazy individuals, man. But this guy robbed this guy at North Point for a a damn hot dog, man. You know you see Jake. You know he little he had phone he had some phone pauses on, which phone pauses are old. Nobody worry about phone pauses no more. But you know he you know he 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 had on some decent clothes. You know so he, he probably wasn't doing that bad, but you know he probably was hungry, man. You no, know, you got people going through it these days, man. You know, we never know what somebody going through, you know, and what kind of demons plaguing the man mind. You know, also a demon made him do this, man. Okay. He was actually holding this man up at knife point for a hot dog. Okay. And I do this video to say that, hey, they're coming into a time where a, a, a life is going to be, you know, you're going to see people dying, you know, a, 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 every day with things like this, man. You see somebody eating this. You see somebody got, you know. Nowadays, you got to worry about somebody robbing you for, for, for your jewelry or something like that. You know, taking your car. By the times we coming into, you're going to see people getting killed over food. That's going to be a normal, uh, 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 everyday, you know, thing, man. You know, it says, um, Matthew chapter 24, verse, uh, Verse 12, Salakia. It says, um, I mean, let me go up a little bit, actually. Verse 8, it says, all these are the beginning of sorrows. Okay, these are the beginning of sorrows. So we coming into that time where it's going to be much sorrows, but this is just the beginning of it, man. And right now it's funny, but, but you know, <laughs> in, in a couple of months, man, when this, recess, when this, when this recession really kicks in, it ain't going to be funny no more, man. You're going to have people coming out of stores with grocery cartons and they getting robbed for, for their groceries, man, getting followed home and killed in their homes and motherfucker, you know, warming up a damn microwavable pizza, you know, watching their TV as they had did, you know, that's the time we're coming into, man. It says verse 12, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Because what all this iniquity, all this sin is going on, all this wickedness is being promoted here. The love of many is waxing cold. So you see, when, when you allow more wickedness and sin and evil into a society, that puts more demons on the people. And that makes these people act out and do things that's out of character, man. You know, do stupid shit. You know, you, it, it becomes more and more. It's just more and more madness, man. You know, the crimes, you know, start to make less and less sense. Okay, it says, but he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved, man. Okay, the same shall be saved. Okay, he that endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. And, you know, like I said, right right now, it's a joke. Right now, it's all fun and games. You know, it, hey, this could even be a joke. This, this, this could be all, you know, but this is going to be a reality very, very, very soon. You see, you can't be simple, man. Don't be simple. Hey, you know. Motherfucker might stab your ass up for a plate of food that you walk home with pretty soon, man. You know, and, and they're not saying it's never happened before. It says, in this gospel, the kingdom should be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. So we preaching this word, okay? And that's bringing us closer and closer and closer to the, to the end of this place, man. 
okay, to 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 to, to, to the death and destruction, okay, the 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 you know the the hell and torment that's, that that's prophesied to come upon this place, okay. This is uh. This is uh, 2nd Ezra chapter 15, verse 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Okay, woe, which means destruction unto the world and them that dwell therein. You people that are in this world, you see the God was all in his phone. You see, now like I said, this is just an example, but whatever. And the God's all in his phone, you know. A destruction will come upon you people, man. It says, for the sword and their destruction draw from nigh. And that guy came up with a mini sword, but the ultimate sword is Esau, Okay. A, 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 a Esau is the Lord's whooping stick, man. You see, Esau is the Lord's whooping stick, and you know he, he, you know, eventually he's, he's going to be destroyed by, 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 by the, by his own, you know, blessing, which is, which, which, which was the sword. It's going to be those thermonuclear missiles, and that's going to be the end of all this bullshit, man. That's when the Lord's going to clean. That's what's going to truly cleanse this place, okay? Because fire is a cleansing agent. You get motherfuckers, hold motherfuckers at knife point for for for, for uh, glizzies. Hey, we gotta get the hell up out of here, man. <laughs> you know, I just did a video about how them hot dogs be having all types of poison in them, and them shits to give you fucking leukemia. You know? And then you feed them to your children. But that's that's another top point for another day, Salakia. So like Verse 15. It says, For the sword and the destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up to fight and fight against another, and swords in their hands. For there shall be sedition among men, and invading one another, they shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able, for because of their pride, their city shall be troubled and houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. You see, here's the point. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. These guys have no pity upon you, man. You know, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and uh, so like, but they sh shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation, man. Okay, for the lack of bread and for great tribulation, because it's because it's gonna be a lack of food out here, man. It's gonna be hell going on. People ain't got no job. People got no hospital. People, you know, gonna be just unseen. They damn, you know, loved ones die. Okay, and they, and people, you know, these civilized people are gonna lose their damn mind. And you might get hunted down for, you know, for your damn hot dog or something, man. In the times that we coming into, don't be surprised. Okay, don't even be surprised. That's the point, though. With that bit, I'm saying I'm gonna say Shalom, Kwame Sharala, Abba, Babal.